welcome back. What's wrong with you, Sammy? Nothing. Come on, you can tell me I'm your sister. Well, you guys are so lucky. You all have hobbies. You've got comics, Mike's got model planes, Kelly's got gymnastics. I want nothing. You must have something. You're not that much of a loser. Well, I do have one thing. Some people. <laughs> you guys come with me to see the world of a comic book superhero artist. It's just... <laughs> You've been a bad girl, Gaga. Fashion. Miguel Mulipula is a comic book artist, but he doesn't draw Tintin, Batman, or Catwoman. He's inspired by something a little closer to home. Let's meet the brother to find out what that is. Miguel, malo. Malo. Now, you were in your cool as comic book store. What got you into comics in the first place? I happened to stumble upon my uncle's uh, stash of comics uh, when I was about five years old. Not one of those stashes. No, no, no. no. It was like Not two, the ladies. Yeah, no, it, was, it, was, it was like 2008 D's, Judge Dredd, uh, Rom the Space Knight. Um, and I got hooked ever since. Uh, a lot of people will see the, the pretty pictures, but um, a, a true comic is one that tells a story and um, tells a story cohesively. You may not be able to draw the best, but if you can tell a story, that's a comic. As many genres of films there are, there are just as many genres of comics. Now, you run comic workshops with youth around the country. Yeah. Why do you do that? The comic books kind of kept me away from, you know, some of the bad influences. So I kind of want to bring that to some of the kids and show them that, you know, as a, as a Samoan, as a Polynesian, you know, you don't have to do some of the bad things that are out there now. You don't have to join gangs. You know, if you love something like I do with comics, you can do it. And I'm kind of glad that schools have actually embraced comics as a, as a way to get young boys, especially, reading again and excited about reading. Who's your favourite comic book hero? Uh, my favourite comic book hero is uh, Green Lantern. Because his power comes from his ring, but his ring is, um, taps into his willpower and his imagination. Yeah. So it kind of relates in terms of my, um, my artistic ability, you know, uh, creating something real from what you can think. Have you ever wanted to bring any of your comics to life? I've been a pro wrestler for four years now. Honestly, uh, using using the character <laughs> from, <laughs> from, my comic, comic from my comic book. So, uh, but there are some limits on what you can do that your character in the book can do, right? Oh, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> depends on how nasty I want to get. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what would be cool is if you could show us how you actually put together a comic. Yeah, that's cool. It's uh, cool. Yeah. So this is where you create all of your magic. Ah, uh, yeah, this is my magic workshop. Yeah. <laughs> so what kind of story are you creating here? Because I notice she looks a bit familiar. I'm turning you into a comic book character. Yeah. Um, see how you look as, as I guess, a superheroine. Who yep. else is it? I'm thinking I may use, because every good superheroine needs a good bad guy. Yeah. I would use Liger. Liger. The, the strong star supervillain. I could be like a Samoan superwoman, you know, get Liger, beat him up in a headlock. I'm liking this. <laughs> The thought of you beating him up? Now that's funny. <laughs> when you came across my path, I knew my time had come. I had waited for this opportunity to have revenge for my disfigurement. And now as Liger, the masked one, I will have my day of vengeance. <laughs> you, because of your father, I have to wear this mask. <laughs> That's more like it. <sighs> wow, that's a really interesting idea. Um, keep doing your thing and I guess if people want to find out more about you, they can check out these websites right here. I I've got to go. <laughs> Music. Deech is one third of award winning hip hop group Smash Proof. Now, following in the footsteps of his brothers Young Sid and Tyree, the man has just released his solo album called Vision, which was recorded right here at Woodcut Studios. So let's go catch up with those. So. Deech. 
Yes, sir. Right? Also, how are you, man? I'm good, man. Yourself? Not too bad, bro. New Zealand, I give it to you the man himself, Mr. Deech, here at your recording studio? Yeah, Woodcut. What happens here, bro? Uh, this is where we lay down all our demos before we go upstairs to record properly with Juice. Nice. This awesome. is where all the magic happens. There was this massive hype with Smash Proof. You won awards, you, your fan base is huge. Why the plan for you boys to do solo album? Uh, I think everyone wants to just have a break and everyone wants to do their thing, like Tyree's had his thing, um, Young Zed has his time, but I think everyone's expecting me to drop something and I have dropped that stuff now. So. I started writing music that I really felt was strong for me as a person. And that's the um, deep, meaningful stuff. I know one of the songs on it is written for your mum and dad. It's just about all the kids um, that sort of drop out of school. They don't realise how hard that their parents worked um, to get them there. It's just like a wake-up call. The way I was raised up is um, my parents worked hard for me to get to where I am. Like, it's time to give back to them. So have your parents heard this song? My parents actually cried when they heard it. You know, this is where my heart lies. Yeah. Writing songs about my, uh, you know, struggle and my family and just real music. Well, that's the thing, you're, you're carrying smash proof on your shoulders as well, not just teach the solo artist, eh? We got an album coming out soon as well. I think a lot of people think we'll split up, but now nah, that's not the case. So strong. Also, I've got some quick advice for you, bro. Yeah, man. From our audience, smash proof or <coughs> fireproof? Smash proof. Solo or threesomes? <laughs> <laughs> Solo. BGs or TLC? Um, BGs. Lounge bar or Baccio? Baccio. And lastly, brown girls or white girls? Um, brown girls. You're lucky, bro. You're lucky. Bro, always good to see you, man. You too, man. Now, you're used to performing at the Fale with the other two as smash proof. Yeah. But now it's solo time, my brother. Can you do it? Yeah, yeah, sure. We hope you guys love the show today. Big shout out to all our guests this week. Remember, if you want to watch more of our shows, here's the website, or you can hit us up on Facebook. We'll still like give it up for Deej. Yeah. Spoke to my pops, sat him down and said, how did life treat you when you navigated here? Put the bridge of his nose and scratched his head. Spoke in our heritage, this is what he said. I couldn't speak English, it was so tough. Took me a couple years just to get a job Factory work was all the experience I had It was serious, I'm glad that I learned from the past That's why I get frustrated But you the stubborn one to get an education I know you get sick of all the complaining But did you gotta realize that I didn't make it I only made the dream possible for you to see Cause you know it's not impossible for you to be Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.